in case if the setting icon present in your android device automatically closes or crashes when you open it then let us see how to fix the issue the first thing that you can do is you can simply restart your phone sometimes restarting the phone fixes many of the minor issues the other thing after this what we'll do is we will update our android device sometimes there may be a bug in the version of the software that is installed in our android device which can be fixed by updating so for that one we will go to settings we will go to software update we will go to download and install the device will check if there is any update available for me my software is up to date but for you if there is update pending then you have to update your device after this the other thing that we will do is we will run our device in safe mode and check if this will fix the issue so if you want to start your samsung device in safe mode then what you will do is you will tap and hold this power key you will tap on this power off button tap and hold this power off button now you can see there is safe mode so you have to tap on this safe mode to start your device in safe mode now once you are in safe mode try to open the settings icon and see if you can open it now in case if you can open safe mode in settings icon that means there are some applications that is installed in your samsung device that is causing the issue so you have to remember when this problem started to occur and which application you had installed in that case you can remove that application and see if the issue can be fixed now if you are if you don't know which applications you had installed and this problem started to occur then in that case you can remove the last few applications that you have installed and check if this will fix the issue now if this does not fix the issue then what we will do is we will wipe the cache partitions of our android device now if you want to wipe out the cache partition of your android device you have to at first start your device in recovery mode so for this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch off my phone at first so once my phone is completely switched off then what i will do is i will press this power button bixby button on the side and volume up button at the same time and once i see the samsung logo i can release it and you can see the device has started in recovery mode so once the device has started in recovery mode there will be some options here and among them there will be one option wipe cache partition you might not be able to see clearly and if i have to select this option what i will do is i will press this volume down button so let me press the volume down button so i have selected the option wipe cache partition and i will press this power button and now there is a warning message here wipe cache partition this cannot be undone now when you clear the cache partition only the cache files will be deleted the document and data will remain safe so i will press this volume down button to select yes option and then i will press this power button now what happens is the cache files will be deleted after the cache files is deleted automatically reboot system now is selected so i will press this power button to activate the option and my device will be restarted now once you have cleared the cache partition if the problem still occurs then the only option for you to stop settings app from crashing or closing is to format your android device so once you format your android device all the data that is present in your android device will be deleted and your device will go back to the factory state so before that you need to back up your android device to google drive so that you can restore it later on now if you want to format your android device what you have to do is you have to again restart your android device in recovery mode because you won't be able to format your device using the settings icon as it crashes so what i will do is i will again restart my android device in recovery mode so for that one i will again press this power button so for that one what i will do is i will again sort sort, sort down my android device once the android device is completely turned off i will again press this power button bixby button and the volume up button once i see the samsung logo i can remove them and my device will start in recovery mode now once i am in recovery mode what i will do is i will press down and then i will select the option factory 
reset now once i press this power button the device will be factory reset now if you have already backed up your device to google drive application then you can restore it but if you have not backed up your device to the google drive application you won't be able to restore your device so what you do is you factory reset your android device and check if this will fix the issue or not